Hey folks, welcome back. There were two big events that happened in the cloud computing world last week. The first of those was our conference, Google Next, where we talk about new products, new solutions, success we've had with customers, and we also have lots of learning, blogs, tutorials, videos, things that you can do to try stuff out at home. The other big event that happened was called KubeCon. Now at the heart of both of these events was the concept of containers and more specifically Kubernetes. So if you don't know anything about Kubernetes, I want to kind of start to introduce you to that concept and show you how I finally was compelled to deploy my first application to Kubernetes to Google's Kubernetes flavor called GKE or the Google, Google Kubernetes engine. And I want to walk you through some of my impressions. I'll share the tutorial that I walked through and hopefully you can learn from some of the things that I want to share with you over the next few minutes. Stay with me. First thing, folks, I am by no means a Kubernetes expert, but I'm happy to kind of share what I'm learning so that you can hopefully benefit from this at home. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fire up our first application in Kubernetes, even if you don't have any experience. If you're following me in the video so far and you have a Google Cloud account, you can actually do this in the next 15 minutes or so. And so the first thing that we do is we build on something we talked about in my prior video, which is starting a tutorial. And I like this because the steps you need to follow are right there on the right side of the window. So we're going to try out the Kubernetes engine and we're going to follow this step by step to actually deploy the assets that we need and then deploy the code. And we're actually going to have a functional online boutique to show us that this thing actually worked. Now, before we dive into the details of this, let me make sure we understand this concept. In the world of virtual machines or VMs, we are deploying code to a virtual machine. This is a software concept that sits on a physical piece of computing hardware. Kubernetes really is about five different things and I want to kind of explain the relationship of those things as we start to bring up our Kubernetes cluster. So we're deploying our application or our code to what's called a container. That container or those containers then reside in a pod. That pod or pods then run on a node and a node would be the equivalent of often a VM or sometimes there's a serverless concept we'll talk about in another video but let's assume it's a VM and then nodes run in clusters. Now, what you see on your screen here is my cluster that I fired up. I'm going to click into this and you'll see now from clusters, you'll see the nodes. And so there are four different nodes running in my cluster. Each one of these nodes has multiple pods running on the nodes. Each one of these pods has one or more containers running on the pod. And then each one of these <clears throat> containers rather has some application code, in this case, an image that's running in it that reflects something that was produced by someone who actually wrote code. Now, if we want to see that this actually works, because I, I spun up a lot of things up kind of before we got into the demo, this is kind of like the cooking show where the turkey's just about done and they're pulling it out of the oven when you kind of come along as the audience. And the way that we're going to look at this is we're going to look on the left side that shows our Kubernetes resources and take a peek at the services. We want to take a peek at the front end external service, <clears throat> excuse me, and this actually has an IP address. This IP address is something that we fire up and we see, voila, our online boutique is actually running. Now, the different services in the Kubernetes cluster handle some of the different functions that you would expect to see in a store. It's handling things like the shopping cart. It's handling things like shipping. It's handling things like the tax calculation and the inventory management. Those different aspects are what's happening in those different services in the Kubernetes cluster. And so, again, we're just scratching the surface. What I will say is, that tutorial that we talked about, that this is now the application that's a representative sample of, takes about 15 minutes or so. You take as long or as little time as you need to. Think of this as the first of many videos that we want to talk about to get you exposed to things. I was able to do this in about 15 minutes. I believe you can at home as well. And to build on some other things that I want you to be able to take a look at at home, I want to give you three resources to take a look at. Some of us benefit not just from deploying a sample application, but from seeing the big picture. So I want to give you one thing that I highly recommend you take a look at, which is one of the demos from Google Next last week. There was a great demo that Richard and Vidya did about introducing Google Distributed Cloud, but it talks about a lot of the concepts of how do you move from VMs to containers and how do you look at things like multi-cloud and Kubernetes. It's a great high-level picture. You won't get all of it just yet but it'll give you a preview of some things that we're going to talk about in the next few weeks. Number one. Number two, 
one of the foremost experts on Kubernetes in the entire world, in my opinion, great guy, Kelsey Hightower, and I did an event last week to kick off KubeCon. And so getting started with Kubernetes was a Google event that we did on day zero, the day before KubeCon kicked off officially. And it started with Kelsey and I doing a keynote, answering questions mostly from the community. Things like, what is Kubernetes? How do I get started? And so this link actually shows you ways to access those on-demand sessions. And then some of the other folks from Google, like Castlin Fields, walk you through demonstrations to kind of make this real. The last thing that I want to highlight is Google is actually offering some free resources to the community that you can take advantage of right now. So Google is partnering with Coursera and Google training on Coursera is actually free between now and November 6th. So you literally can sign up and take some of these classes to see if you have an interest in anything. So again, we're going to be back with you sometime soon in the next one or two weeks with more information. Watch Richard NVIDIA's video. Take a look at getting started with Kubernetes. And if you want to go deeper into training, sign up for this free training. The links are going to be in the description of this video on YouTube. Happy learning. Check back with us. Give us some comments. Tell us how you're doing. Thank you, folks.